but Japan uh, is an island and it's a narrow island has limited arable land limited resources too um, and the Japanese did this thing where they limited their interaction with the outside world you know they became a closed off isolated society um, so as a result you know their language stagnated uh, you know because of that you know they didn't didn't really interact too much with other people so therefore foreign words and concepts and ideas didn't you know enter into the you know the common nomenclature um, as a result now as one of you guys said I think it was Gobez said that um, Japanese is now incorporating a lot of Korean characters and then even you know and then somebody else said that you know they're also including a lot of American characters or American words in there as well and what this says to me is that you know because of the Japanese occupation of Korea you know and this direct very close in you know contact between the two cultures uh, the Japanese started picking up you know the local language and really the local you know terms and concepts they're able to you know take in these new ideas that which they had no concept for in their own language and thus you know you know use Korean to help express their own concepts um, and it's the same thing with American you know language you know why they're you know incorporating that into their everyday you know speech um, and somebody made the comment that you know if you know, for in a, if an American you know was to speak to a Japanese person and like say it real loud and real slowly uh, you know basically a Japanese person would understand what he's saying and I thought that was very interesting <laughs>